Bisphosphonates are commonly prescribed for the treatment and prevention of osteoporosis. These medications are pivotal in increasing bone density and reducing the risk of fractures. But do you know when and why you should stop taking them? Deciding to stop bisphosphonate therapy is equally important and requires careful consideration. This video delves into the protocols and guidelines for discontinuing bisphosphonates. The typical duration of bisphosphonate therapy is a critical consideration in the management of osteoporosis. Bisphosphonates are designed to be effective over the long term, but their use is often limited to a specific time frame to balance the benefits with potential risks. Here's an in-depth look at the typical duration and the reasoning behind it. Most guidelines recommend an initial treatment period of three to five years for bisphosphonate therapy. This recommendation is based on studies showing that bisphosphonates significantly reduce the risk of vertebral and non-vertebral fractures during this period. Here's what happens during these initial years. In the first two years, patients typically see a rapid increase in bone mineral density. The medication helps to reduce the activity of osteoclasts, the cells responsible for bone resorption, leading to a net gain in bone density. In the years three to five, the benefits continue, but the rate of bone density increase slows down. By the end of this period, patients have generally reached a plateau in bone density improvements. Before we continue, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Several factors contribute to the recommendation of a three to five year duration for initial bisphosphonate therapy. Clinical studies indicate that the majority of fracture risk reduction occurs within the first three to five years of therapy, with extending treatment beyond this period not significantly enhancing bone density or reducing fracture risk further for most patients. Additionally, long-term bisphosphonate use is associated with rare but serious side effects, such as atypical femoral fractures and osteonecrosis of the jaw, so limiting the duration helps mitigate these risks. Moreover, bisphosphonates have a long half-life and can remain in the bone matrix for years, continuing to provide benefits even after discontinuation. This lingering effect allows for a drug holiday without immediate loss of bone density gains. A drug holiday is a strategic pause in bisphosphonate therapy that can offer several benefits for patients with osteoporosis. This concept is based on the long-lasting effects of bisphosphonates on bone mineral density and fracture risk, even after the medication has been discontinued. Here's an in-depth look at the rationale, implementation, and benefits of a drug holiday. Bisphosphonates have a long half-life and bind strongly to bone, allowing them to continue exerting their effects long after the last dose. This characteristic makes it possible to maintain bone density and reduce fracture risk even during periods when the medication is not actively being taken. The duration of a drug holiday can vary based on individual risk factors and the patient's response to therapy. It can range from one to two years, with some patients extending the holiday if their bone health remains stable. Please note that the decision to take a drug holiday should always be made in consultation with a healthcare provider. During and after a drug holiday, regular and comprehensive monitoring is essential to ensure that bone health remains stable and to detect any early signs of increased fracture risk. This involves regular bone mineral density testing clinical fracture surveillance, monitoring bone turnover markers, and maintaining a bone-healthy lifestyle. Based on these assessments, decisions can be made about continuing the drug holiday or resuming therapy. Personalized treatment plans and patient education play vital roles in managing bone health effectively during this critical phase. Deciding when to stop taking bisphosphonates is a crucial aspect of managing osteoporosis effectively, while these medications play a significant role in increasing bone density and reducing fracture risk, long-term use can be associated with potential side effects. Therefore, an initial treatment period of three to five years is generally recommended, followed by a comprehensive reassessment of fracture risk. The concept of a drug holiday, 
offers a strategic pause in therapy, leveraging the long-lasting effects of bisphosphonates while minimizing risks. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, do me a huge favor and click that like button. It really helps the channel and ensures that we can continue bringing you more content like this. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what we have in store for you.